Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Doterian here. So today we're continuing another run of Raven's Watch. Um, now I have been playing a lot of rogue uh, roguelikes lately, and Raven's Watch has been one of my favorites. It's still in early access, and there's a lot of new content coming out for this particular game. Today we're continuing with a Twilight difficulty run, which is just above the Adventure difficulty, and we're playing Scarlet today. Uh, so here for our first trait, we are going to pick up shapeshifter or distant explosions i do like the special which is the bomb that she throws and so this makes it so that she's gonna throw the bomb a bit further uh okay let's quickly go across the map so just a reminder with um this particular character scarlet scarlet is a character that shapeshifts between um a wolf and her red riding hood form and as the classic twist on red riding hood she has uh, a dagger that she can hold in her human form and she can transform into a wolf at night time when the night cycle will begin so as a like a rogue character in red riding hood form she's more agile um, and her special trait is to build up combo points where she can stack hits on characters and then the next attack that she does will consume the convoy points to do more damage. Um, this is specifically when she does her power attack, and her power attack is to dash forward. Um, she has a new set of skills in the werewolf form, and I'll talk about that when we get to that point. But as a rogue, she has her basic attack where she slashes with a dagger. She can throw a bomb for her special, and for her power she can dash. And also her defensive skill, she can go intangible, and cloak herself uh, for like two seconds and that is really useful because it helps negate a lot of damage and also escape tricky situations now for our first event here we have the raven tower and we're going to unlock the raven tower get an upgrade so here we have armor break special applies vulnerable or special applies ignite okay now we transform into the wolf form now in the wolf form, uh, the wolf form has a different set of skills, um, kind of similar, but basically her special will slam the ground. Uh, the power will like devour and consume a target. Uh, we won't necessarily consume the target, but it does a lot of damage. And her defensive skill in the wolf form is that she can get some lifesteal with her next attack. So quite a different playstyle from her rogue form, um, whereas the the wolf form is like a more melee focused uh, character, um, very in your face, but the rogue form is like more agile and you want to kind of be in and out of combat. But similar to the other form as well, this, also, this system also has the combo points as well. So the combo points, you stack damage and your, your next power will deal more damage based on the number of co combo points consumed. Yeah, the power move is quite strong because he does like a huge chunk of damage on enemies. Um, and so the power move is good for like single f target. Uh, whereas the special is an AoE um, skill. But in the Red Riding Hood form, the power is an AoE skill. So it does less damage, but it does do AoE. So you can hit multiple targets in a line. Now, naturally, I do find that the wolf form is slightly stronger. But it doesn't mean that one form is necessarily better than the other. Um, okay, for my next upgrade, uh, we get Ignite and gain 40% crit chance. Or we have Special Applies Vulnerable. So, I'm going to think about which one I want to take. Because I'm not sure at this point. Okay, now we'll go down here and we'll start the event. 
Now, I have uh, realized from playing this game a lot um, that getting the event early is more beneficial than getting it later. Um, simply because certain parts of the map you have to kind of travel back to if you've already traveled to them already uh, when you do the event. And doing the event now then later means that you don't have to double up on going back to those. All right, so we'll start the event now. Okay, so I will pick up Pyromania because I do like having extra crit chance and the ignite status. Um, I, f I think that in, in a similar aspect, it's quite similar to getting a vulnerable status applied. Vulnerable status is a status effect where um, Enemies that are affected by vulnerable will take more damage. Now one downside, or I guess upside or downside of the special for Red Riding Hood is that the bomb explodes after a little duration, whereas the special on the wolf, um, uh, the damage occurs immediately. So depending on your playstyle, I guess um, you might not like the fact that there's like a delay to the, the bomb. And that's something you kind of have to play around with um, when you're playing Red Riding Hood as a character. Okay, so now we're at 14, we just need one more stack of wood. And so I think I'm gonna move up to this section here with the red treasure. The other thing to note as well is when the wolf is going into his night form from Red Riding Hood, there's like a little bit of an uh, like an invulnerability delay. Um, so th that's one thing you kind of don't have to worry about um, whether or not you'll take damage when you transform into the wolf. The wolf also naturally has like a cleave attack, whereas Red Riding Hood doesn't. Um, so that's why I do think uh, people find the wolf to be stronger in, in, in a lot of ways because of the natural cleave attack that the wolf does. Alright, now for our first treasure here, uh, we, we're going to, to go with the special cooldown. The special has like an 8 second cooldown, so getting 20% off that is quite good. Just a few seconds earlier that we can get off um, is naturally quite good. And we're also going to pick up Magic Mirror, so this will give us 40% cooldown on our um, on our special, which means we have the bomb up just that much more often. And now here we're going to either pick up Aggressive Defense or Explosive Rush. Uh, when at 3 combo points, power trigger special upon use, dealing 100% of the damage. And that's really good because um, because we're focusing so much on our special at this point, getting an extra bomb um, or, or an extra special proc is um, just extra damage that you can do. It's basically double damage because uh, either wide attacks... 
Attack gains 40% range and 20% damage. I think that's really good. Um, the cleave on the wolf just makes it so much better. And so getting extra range is really helpful. So that's the special proc that gets applied when, um, due to the explosion rush perk. I accidentally got caught in the um, the the frame there, uh, but that's okay. We we do have a few lives left, so nothing to stress too much about at the moment. And we'll quickly clear out the one tree, get the stun off on him, and now I think we'll get be allowed to choose our next item. And yeah, no choice, um, no question here. We're picking up Excalibur. Excalibur, I think, is like one of the best items in Raven's Watch. Essentially, it just gives us so much damage for uh, rewarding us in upgrading our perks. Hopefully, this is something that they don't change because I think um, it's really nice to have an item like this to feel really powerful in the game. Um, or alternatively, they can make it so that they have other items just as powerful as Excalibur. But maybe make the content a little bit more harder to compensate. I think that's like a good balance in terms of what people want in roguelikes. Is they want your they want their character to feel really powerful. Uh, now here we're gonna either pick up um, Voodoo Doll or Eternal Rose. I, I picked up um, Voodoo Doll because Voodoo Doll gives us twenty percent extra damage to bosses. And that's a really good upgrade to have. Okay, now we've got the green treasure chest here. Now one of the trade-offs of having the special, the, the grenade being so powerful is that um, Riding Hood or Scarlet naturally can't um, can't go into the grenade zone. Um, otherwise, she'll get stunned. She won't take damage, but she will get stunned. That's like punishing you for going into the zone. Um, there is a trait later on that you can get that will make it so that she doesn't take damage or get stunned from her own grenade. So hopefully we can find that particular grenade perk. Uh, there's a cursed event here, so I'm, I'm going to go for this cursed event. Now we're going to go into, okay, so for our upgrade, we got Grandmother's Souvenir. And what that does is, um, in a particular zone, it makes um, Riding Hood uh, invulnerable. Uh, like she'll cloak herself in that zone, which is really useful. Otherwise, as a wolf, you can devour any enemy uh, which will I guess is like a one-shot kill on any enemy it's not good against bosses because we're dealing damage to them but it's a good um, uh, one-shot kill for elite mobs and stuff like that okay now here we're gonna pick up special um, 
upgrade. So what this cursed object does is it will double the damage of our special. But then the downside is that it will increase the cooldown by 50%. Now we did get the uh, Raven Beak item first. And what that object does is um, it gave us the 20% special cooldowns. And we've got two of them, so essentially it'll stack additively to give us 40%. Um, cooldown reduction on our special. So we have that particular item to kind of counterbalance the negative uh, offside of the uh, Raven Beak. Oh, sorry, not the Raven Beak, the um, the Echo item which uh, makes our special stronger. Here we're going to pick up Voodoo Doll again, so we're getting an another 20% damage to bosses. Okay, so you just saw there I just used my ultimate and basically that just got rid of one particular enemy. Um, I, I kind of got rid of that one because so, he, he's a bit annoying to deal with. So that way we don't really have to think about that particular mob type in this particular fight. And because it's um, not necessarily an insanely strong um, ultimate, the cooldown on this ultimate is actually on a relatively short cooldown. Okay, again, I just used my ultimate there. Um, that got rid of the giant spider, so we don't have to spend like you know, 20 seconds trying to kill him. Uh, we got have him, rid of him immediately. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my way down towards the right side of the map where there are stronger events. And there's another curse key event here. So with this curse key event, I'm gonna try and finish it in a minute and a minute and 20 seconds. Um, going into the next boss fight. Okay, great. So we got the boss fight done. Uh, we've got Oni Mask here, 20, 20 damage for each magical curse um, that you have more than your legendary objects. So currently we have one legendary object, which is the Excalibur item, and then we've got the special upgrade, the Echo item, and we have the Oni Mask. So because we have uh, one extra cursed object, Essentially, we're getting plus 20 damage from this one item, which is really strong. And now with our few seconds left, we're going to go into the boss fight. And I do think that this particular run has been quite strong, like we did get quite a few upgrades that make us much stronger. So hopefully this fight shouldn't be too hard.
Okay, so we transform into the wolf now. Okay, last few hits, and then we should be done. There we go. Now we move on to chapter 2. And if you're liking the content I'm making so far, drop me a like down on the video and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment in terms of any feedback or ideas for videos that uh, you have um, or any games that you guys want me to try out. All right. All right, so I'm quickly checking here. We do have a few upgrades that we need to make. Okay, so we'll pick up the free gold there. Uh, pick up this free gold as well. And we'll just make our way up to the north just to see if there's any easy upgrades that we can get. Now to the right here looks like there's another event, and yep, it is a, dra uh, a raven tower. Now it's really easy to get overwhelmed by the number of birds that um, attack us in this particular event. Uh, so it's really quick. It's really important, sorry, that you uh, have a lot of area effect damage to deal with this particular event. Um, now here we've got special applies uh, vulnerable to all enemies hit. That's really good. So that way we can chuck a bomb and that will get vulnerable. That will make them take more damage from us. And also we've got some money that we can pick up. So I'm going to try pick up the healer first. And luckily we actually turn into the wolf there, so we deal more damage to those particular foes. To be honest though, I actually prefer the uh, Red Riding Hood form. Maybe it's because I'm more used to it, I guess. Okay, some more money. Shiny. And even more money. So we have uh, 649 money stocked up. Now we have 654. 
Um, so I'll think about uh, spending this sometime soon. We'll move up to the grimoire and um, unlock the portal. Um, I'm gonna now move back to base and get some upgrades. And pretty much with this amount of money, we can we can pretty much buy anything. So let's just quickly unlock magic mirror. Uh, we unlocked. A, yep. Um, get the cheap upgrades as well. And now we'll fight the Grimoire, and with the Grimoire, essentially because we have all epic talents, when we do our upgrade to legendary talents, these legendary talents are going to be um, worth so much gold. So effective gold, essentially you can think of it as uh, 200 gold per legendary upgrade. And so with these two talents that we upgrade, it's going to be 400 gold that we gain instead of 150 gold. Which is pretty insane when you think about the value of that. That also means that we've upgraded three of our talents out of our five talents so far. And essentially with the five talents, um, that, that now makes us have 60 extra damage that we're doing. So once we upgrade all our talents, I think we're going to get to a point where we're just popping um, enemies without damage. Now I have four voodoo dolls, so we're doing 80% extra damage to bosses as well. So I think the boss fight at the end is going to be quite enjoyable because <laughs> I think we've been doing so much damage and looking at those. Um, I think basing the damage numbers that we're going to see. Um, essentially the damage numbers I'm, I'm hoping will be quite high because we're doing like 80% damage, we're doing like 60% damage. got the item uh, okay we have five voodoo dolls that's 100% damage to bosses double damage that's pretty insane Uh, well, like, actually, I'm assuming that's how the damage numbers work out. I'm, I've never tested it, but I'm assuming it's 20% additive damage rather than 20% multiplicative. Um, in which case, yeah, 20% additive is really good in our case because we will be applying double damage. Okay, do, do have to be careful around these mobs. These mobs are particularly strong. Now we have our level 7 upgrade, we either have special hits enemies 30% further and special consumes combo points and deals 20% more damage per combo point. So yeah, this is really good, it's going to make our bombs do so much more damage or our slam attack do way more damage as well.
this is getting a little bit tight because um, I am taking a lot of hits. And based on how much damage now we're stacking up, uh, it would be a shame to to die at the end of this particular run. Okay, now we're moving to the bottom right, and I'm going to try and see what other perks we can get. Okay, so there's another Grimoire event here. I'm going to go back to base. We've got 300 gold, 317 gold um, to spend. So we can get a few more upgrades. Uh, so we did get Wheatstone, which will give us 20%, 25% more crit damage. And this is a red Grimoire event, which will give us um, a chance, to, uh, which will get... An upgrade to upgrade four random talents. Now with the four random talents that we have, um, the four random talents will give us um, all legendary talents because we have uh, two epics and we have um, a one rare. So if we upgrade the rare, it will become an epic and then a legendary, meaning that it will upgrade to the fullest. Okay, so now we have 90 extra damage. Finally, a fun. And we only have currently one more um, talent to upgrade at this point um, to legendary status. Wow, that was a crit, 1372 damage. Yeah, so you can see at this point, like the the damage numbers that we're getting on on our on our bombs is just makes them pop. Uh, here we we're gonna get a defense cooldown upgrade. And I do see the curse key here as well, so. Hopefully, if we can get another cursed, um, another cursed object, that will give us another twenty damage based on the uh, the only mask um, object that we have as well. I think this is the cursed key event. Yeah, so this is the cursed key event. We just need to clear out these guys. Too much damage there. Yeah, like these guys are a little bit hard to deal with because you do have to kind of get rid of their shield first. Uh, so it doesn't matter how much damage you do, you still need to reach the the stagger cap on them. Uh, now here, human. Yeah, so short wick. This is the one I was talking about. Special no longer affects Scarlet, and the bomb explodes immediately. 
So this makes it so that when we chuck our bomb, it'll explode straight away. And also we can stand in the explosion as well. Okay. Wow, 1,400, 700 damage. Sorry, 1,470 damage. That's pretty insane. Um, okay, so we got Cauldron of Drin Witch, which gives us 50 vitality, but minus 50 crit weight. I don't think we want that. Hope Diamond, double the amount of money you collect, but lose all the money when you die. Or you have power deals 100% more damage, but has 50% increased cooldown. Okay, um, I think we'll take the Nightmare Thorn, making it so that essentially just more damage, just stockpiling damage is probably the best thing we can do at this point. One thousand damage, damn. Yeah, one thousand damage, that's, that's, that's crazy. I think 1,000 damage is a high number in this game, considering like when we were doing like 10 damage before and things like that, um, 1,000 is is essentially 100 times more damage that we're doing with our skills because of all of the multiplicative and, st and stacking damage effects that we have um, in the form of talents and items and, and, and things like that. Ahoy, man a a <laughs> 600 damage. Okay, he's gonna do the stomp pattern once he goes out of the stomp pattern. Do another slam. And this is, sorry, just thinking about it now, this is actually 2600 damage. Wow. Actually, I'm not going to take this item, and the reason why I'm not going to take this item is because we're getting 20 extra damage with our owning mask. I don't want to lose the 20 damage by getting something that increases our defense. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, what I was saying was the Cyclops had two armor packs, which I think the armor reduces the damage a lot, maybe by 50% or something. So essentially, um, when we were doing the 600 damage, we were only doing 25% of our potential damage. Damn, these crabs are so hard to deal with. Okay, there we go. Uh, now here we've got a special, gains one extra charge. That means we can fire two bombs. Okay, now we're going to go back to base. We have 310 gold. So this will allow us to upgrade our last upgrade. So short wick, 100 gold, and then 200 gold for the legendary, which gives us 10 extra damage. That means that we have 120% extra damage that we can do. Now, obviously, this is not the highest amount of damage that you can do in the game. I think you can get other talents and things like that that will increase the amount of um, 
damage you can do. But essentially, you kind of have to get really lucky with the events as well. So I think you'd probably have to find more cursed keys. You'd probably have to find um, like different talents that increase your damage as well. Uh, but I think this is a pretty pretty strong run. Okay, and we essentially unlocked everything on the map except for the the few health shrines that we have. Um, if, for example, we had gotten like uh, the like one of my favorite objects, which is the ogre blood, um, because we have forty vitality, forty vitality will give us um, you know extra damage in that sense as well. As well as if you've got like eternal rose to increase damage, that would also deal a lot of damage as well. Wow, two thousand eight hundred damage. So bear in mind that one bomb did 2800 damage and that was even with an armor stack on the boss. Okay, I'm taking a few hits here so I need to be careful. Okay, oh, back to full health now. Yeah, so it looks like the life seal also depends on how much damage you're doing as well. Okay, here we go. There we go. What, 2,700 damage to finish out the run. So there you have it. That was my... One of my best runs with Scarlet so far. And we're playing on Twilight difficulty. If you enjoyed that run, drop me a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, have an awesome day. Bye for now.